welcome back to another video. This is the second episode of Challenge Accepted. It was a suggestion from one of our viewers where they wanted me to make a lamp um, using a filament bulb. So I thought that I'll change it into a Challenge Accepted series where I went out and bought a fruit basket and a filament lamp. So now I have to brainstorm as to how to make it into a lamp. So without further ado, let's get started. And I'm super excited for this one because I love the Challenge Accepted series. So let's get started. So guys, I was first thinking to get a layout of how I would plan to design this filament lamp. Um, I currently have a, a fruit basket, a metal fruit basket. And um, my plan is to have this kind of design. I decided to make the base of the lamp with the help of plaster of Paris and cement, dig a hole in between so as to insert the wooden bark, then hang the metal basket from the top through which the filament lamp can be seen. So next stop is to go find a wooden bark. Hi guys, so I'm in search of a tree bark for this filament lamp. I'm going to um, make something out of it. Oh, let's see. scored these three pieces I think this one will work the best I can do some things to it like just cut out after this and I think it should look good yeah post getting my hands in the perfect bar I cut out the thin stem mainly because I did not want it to cause obstruction when hanging the bulb and also because this was far too long to make the base out of cement I had to first make a mold with the help of cardboard for the cement to set in I cut out a circle first, then around 7 cm thick strips, attached it with the help of glue gun and tape to make a temporary mold. Next, I emptied the cement packet in a bare mug and stirred it with water for it to have a semi-liquid consistency. I left the cement to dry and in the meantime worked on the metal basket where I took out a few centimeters of metal wire from the middle as this is where the wire and the bulb will get attached. And next I spray painted it in black color. Once the cement was dry, ideally by keeping it to dry for the entire night, I cut out the temporary mold and took out the middle portion. This was inserted as we wanted to create a hole in between for the bark to be inserted in it. I used the sandpaper to smoothen the edges of the circular cement base and painted on it with glittery white color for a smooth finish. Once dry, I inserted the wooden bark in the middle with the help of glue gun for extra durability. For the bulb to be inserted in the middle of the metal basket, I first dismantled the wire and the bulb holder then join them from two ends as the bulb holder 
would not go through the metal basket. To keep the bulb from oscillating one end to another, I fixed it sturdy with the help of a strip of metal wire. I realized I was not a big fan of the white bulb holder, hence I cut out a 10cm strip of black chart paper and rolled it around the holder with the help of glue gun. This turned out to be a great hack. Keep noting down guys. For protection and a more professional look, I painted the bark with matte varnish. This is a must guys. So the challenge is done and I have these things prepared. Now I need to set it up. So guys, how do you like this week's challenge accepted series? Drop a comment and let me know. And I will always see you again. Until next time, over and out.